Ladies and boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to edit like Ali Abdal in Premiere Pro. First, go to new item, sequence, horizontal 1080 and vertical 9020. Go to new item, color mat. Let me select the color dark blue. Now go to add a half tone image. All the images which I used in this project you can order from the link in the description below. I just add a half tone image, place it on top. Go to effects and add tint. Change the map white to black. Let me decrease the opacity. Now I am going to animate the half tone image. Set keyframe for rotation at the beginning of the timeline. Go a few frames forward and change the rotation to 20. Select both keyframes, copy and go a few frames, paste it. Let me increase the gap between each keyframes. Now I am going to add a video over here. Let me adjust the position and scale. Under opacity, set a pen tool. Draw a mask like this. Let me cut and delete these unwanted portions. Place the playhead over here and set a keyframe for position. Go few frames forward and place it down. Select both keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, Bezier. Go to effects and add directional blur to the video. Direction angle to 180. Set keyframe for blurriness over here. Go few frames forward, set blurriness to 50. Now select the half tone layer and copy these rotation keyframes. And go few frames forward and paste like this. Now I am going to nest these two layers. Let me add the hand image. Place it on top. Let me create a copy of this hand image by holding Alt key on keyboard. If you are a Mac user, press Option key on keyboard. For the bottom image, I am going to add a tin from effects. Change map black to and white to yellow. Increase scale size a little bit. Now I'm going to animate both hand images. Set keyframe for position and slightly change the position value. Go a few frames forward and again change the position value as you seen in this video. Let me copy all these keyframes and go a few frames forward and paste it. Do the same steps for the second hand image. Adjust the position keyframes. Let me increase the distance between each keyframes. Now I'm going to add some test. Using type tool, I just add the test. Go 
With the help of rulers, I add these lines around the test. You can add these rulers by going to view, show rulers right here. Now I'm going to animate each letter. For doing this, create a copy of this test layer. For bottom test layer, I'm going to delete all other words except letter R. For top test layer, I'm going to delete all other words except letter P. Set the letter P and set a keyframe for position. Go few frames forward and adjust the position. Again, go few frames and adjust the position. Copy all these keyframes and paste it. Do the same steps for all the letters. Add another test and place it in between these two lines. Add position keyframe and adjust the values of position keyframes. Let me nest these layers. Under opacity, select rectangle mask tool. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few frames forward and there's a mask over here. Let me add another test as we done before. Animate each letter by adjusting position keyframes. Add opacity, select rectangle mask tool. Set keyframe for mask path over here. Go few frames forward and change the mask path. Let me add a video into the timeline. Using pen tool, I am going to mask the character. Set keyframe for position and place it down. Go keyframes forward and place the position on top. Now I am going to create a fade out animation for this test and this hand image. For doing this, go to opacity and set a keyframe over here. Go keyframes forward and change opacity to zero. Add directional blur to the video. Direction 180. Set blur length keyframe over here. Change to 50. Go few frames forward and change blur length to 0. Let me add a test. Now using pen tool, I'm going to draw a curve line like this. Just add a point and add another point. Hold mouse pointer to make a curve. As you can see, there is a solid color. To remove it, go to shape. Uncheck fill and check stroke. Let me place this line over here. Select rectangle mask and place this mask over here. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few frames forward and place this mask over here. 
let me delete the unwanted portions now i'm going to add the book image Using pen tool, I'm going to draw an outline like this. Make sure uncheck fill and check stroke. Change stroke color to yellow. If you want, you can add VR glow for the glow effect. Under shape layer, check rectangle mask tool. Add a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path at the beginning of the timeline. Go few frames forward and just a mask like this. Let me add some flower and bird image. Place it below the book layer. Adjust the position and scale. Set keyframe for scale and position for zoom in effect. Let me add some extra glow to the outline. Go to effects and add drop shadow. Change color to yellow. Adjust the softness and opacity. Let me select all these layers and nest. Set keyframe for position and rotation over here. Go keyframes forward as the position and rotation value like this. Use the type tool. I'm going to add a test. Create a copy of this test layer. Change color to yellow. Add drop shadow for the glow effect. Select this yellow test layer and set a keyframe for opacity over here. Go a few frames forward and decrease the opacity to zero. Nest these two test layers. Under opacity, select rectangle tool. Add a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few frames forward and use the mask like this. Do the same steps for the next test also. Change the copy test color to blue. Now use a rectangle tool. I'm going to add a rectangle like this. Change color to dark blue. Add a half tone image. Add tint to the half tone image. Change both colors to black. Nest these two layers. Under opacity, select a rectangle tool and draw a mask like this. Go a few frames forward and change the mask like this. Let me delete the unwanted portions. Now I'm going to add an image. Let me create a small rectangle like this. Change color to yellow. Let me copy this background as a sequence and paste it over here. I am going to cut the part where the animation is happening. Now go to effects and add Gaussian blur.
set keyframe for blurriness over here, change to 100. Go keyframe forward and change blurriness to 0. Let me copy this test layer and paste it over here. After all that done, I am going to export this and import it again. Go to effects and add post rise time. Change frame rate to 12. And that's it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. Check out these two videos to know more about how to utilize like Ali Abdar in Premiere Pro. And thank you for watching.